I don't know if it's already safe to say that found footage films are dead. Except for when I seen The Blair Witch. That was one scary ass movie. But lately with these found footage films, I'm just I'm just done. They need to just die. Bam bam. Bam bam. Classroom 6. Written and directed by Jonas Odenheimer. Alright. The movie starts off. Y'all can tell I'm just pissed off because... <laughs> this movie was just terrible, man. The movie starts off like any old typical found footage film. Where, you know, these these group of people that... You know, what, what was this like... Um, Remember she was like he was um the one guy they they was interviewing after mm -hmm. they d disappeared yeah and the one guy I think there was like what some sort of uh, company or there was just students there mm -hmm. for, to that place yeah and they wanted to investigate classroom six which is you know the the, the something mysterious about that room something happens at nighttime when people stay there so they wanted to investigate that. So the girl wanted. So the the main person that's there, Anna Annie or something like that, is Annie. Annie. Mm -hmm. Annie. She wanted them to lock them in it. For one, that that's stupid as shit. Why would you even want somebody to lock you inside of a building that supposedly be cursed? Because it, within classroom six, they were studying witchcraft in that room. So that's why that room is the most active part of that school. So once they got locked in there. And stuff started kicking off. I just, it just was stupid. I did, I could not, like, every film for this film, sorry, every film for this film have the same exact motive, the same situation, the same sound design, the same glitchy glitch. And then the thing that really was killing me about the movie, that the movie kept jumping in between timelines. Like, one minute, you will see future events of what happened falls with them in there. Then you'll go two weeks earlier, and then it'll jump. Um, back to them getting ready to get set up. I mean, it was so confusing that it didn't even let you know what timeline you was in. You were just watching the movie like, wait a minute. <laughs> so what timeline they in? I'm confused. I don't understand that. And it was, I mean, the movie was just confusing the shit out of me. Like I said, I hate that little... <laughs> can't stand that shit you know how, like every time they do those movies like i'm glad like play, like like paranormal activity never did that shit mm -hmm. you never seen it like 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 every the now camera. and then you'll see the camera like move to another location but not like just glitch like i just well and i also watched this other movie called we wine did the same oh, shit my God. same shit but the guy supposed to ran into himself when they walked through a portal, they pulled it like somehow he ended up seeing himself and his self start killing himself off and it start being dimensional. But it was just poorly done. I don't like shit with glitches. The same paranormal activity sound design is in it. I just did not like this film. This film was overall bull yet. <laughs> well, let's give this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a big, huge ass disappointment. Oh no. The, the acting in this movie wasn't too, too bad. But like I said, overall, the horror just was not there. I, I could not, st I can't stand these fucking found footage films because they just lost their weight. They just don't have what, they, what it used to have. Like I said, Paranormal Activity was the shit. The first player was Project was the shit. I just like the idea that any movie that doesn't have any music or a tone to it. It's just most mostly creepy as shit because you're just getting the rawness. When you do a movie like that, you just need it to be raw. But this movie just wasn't cutting it. If you want to check this film out, you can check it out right now <laughs> on Amazon. I highly doubt it that you would want to check it out because it might make you want to kill yourself. Just like Rewind would make you want to kill yourself. When you mm -hmm. watch that movie, I could not stand that movie. This is the second found footage film that I've seen this week that just ultimately made me want to kill myself. And when you watch a movie like that that make you want to do yourself, you don't need to be fucking watching it. <laughs> <laughs> so I highly recommend that so if you want to see this movie Classroom 6 check it out I highly doubt it don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment let me know what you think about Classroom 6 because I already told you what I thought about I thought it was a piece of shit and it needs to be banned <laughs> and another thing <laughs> listen guys I'm I'm searching my ass off for like some more scary shit but you gotta understand this you gotta be a little more patient with me it's, we, we're approaching the end of the year we're approaching the end of 2016 because you know Shit's, shit's really hard and a lot of things that came out this year 
year has been pushed to next year, which is that suck balls because there's so many movies that I want to see right now, like found footage. Um, what else? Found uh, 3D. Um, found footage 3D. Um, the, the second wolf one, at the door. The wolf at the door, which supposed to have been out this year, just like the other one did. Um, mm-hmm. Found footage did. But it has, but other people can see it. Y'all know, it just, I'm busting my ass, but stay tuned, hold on, I got y'all. I'm just digging deep, and I'm digging hard, and I'm going to make sure I get something, because I'm going to pull it right out of my ass, and I'm going to throw it right at the screen, like, Poof. no, no, I'm joking. <laughs> 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 to all my movie lovers, I love you.